Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Node.js. Today we are going to discuss about the top npm packages every Node.js developer should know. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So boost your Node.js development with these essential npm packages. So why npm packages matter, speeds up the development, enhances performance and the security, reduces code complexity and essential for the real world projects. So utility libraries, most important that is Lodash and the date FNS and the moment is also using the npm moment is also using. Let's check which one is the highest number of downloads. Okay, so how you can install it like npm install lodash and the data fns. Okay, so this is how you can require and you can do the array object manipulation anything you can do with lodash and the date for the date manipulation you will go with the data fns. If I go with the lodash and the date fns, let's have a look. Okay, so npm lodash. Okay. So if I go and just check how many downloads we have. So here you can see that this is a weekly downloads. Okay. So pretty much too much. So this is this is very good library that you can use for manipulation of the array and the objects. Okay. And the next one that is date FNS. Let's have a look on the date FNS also. Date hyphen FNS. Okay. So here we have. So here you can see that the weekly downloads is it's date FNS. Okay. And four months ago it's published. And here you can see the downloads. So you can use that one. The moment is also there. Moment. And here also, but let's come as comparative to the previous one. So according to it, you can decide, right? So moment and the data FNS for the date manipulation. Okay. So moving to the next one. Okay. So these are the utility libraries. Next. Okay. So now we have a web frameworks and the middleware. So web frameworks that we go with the express most important library that you can go with the express the fast api framework koa you can use lightweight and alternative helmet for the security headers you can use that one right so what i have used always that is express and the koa I've already used but the express has the too much you can say about the community and everything so go with express right and have for the security you can go with the helmet okay now security and authentication, right? So most popular library for the authentication, token based authentication goes with the JSON web token and it's pretty much too much downloads we have. And for the securing our passwords, you will go with the bycrypt.js. Okay. So these are the most popular libraries. You can see the number of downloads also. Okay. Next, we have a database and the ORM. So if you go with the MongoDB, you will use Mongoose. And if you go with the MySQL, you will go with SQLize. Or if you go with the Postgres mainly, right? So you can use the type ORM also for that one. So these are the three database and the ORM that you should explore for that one for make your project more simpler on that. Okay. So these are that one. Next, we have the performance and optimization. So if I go with the compression reduces response size, you can use the compression and PM2. PM2 is basically you want to run your project all the time because in the development whenever we do the changes we have to again restart the server or we can use another package to restart automatically but in the production how it will be work i don't want to restart again and again for that one we are going to use with the pm2 process manager so learn about it what exactly the pm2 it will run your server forever you don't need to rest you don't need to manually go and restart it right so the pm2 is that one okay Next, we have a real time communication. If you want to make a chat application, then the one of the best choice and the most important choice that goes with the socket IO for the web sockets for the real time applications, right? Next, we have file handling and the processing. So Malta and the sharp, right? So whenever you try to upload a file on the server, wherever, AWS, whatever, 
so you will go with the multi and if you want to resize it or you want to manipulate with the images you play around the images you will go with the sharp for the image processing okay so these are very important logging and the debugging so Winston is the best one which I have used so for the logging part you can go with that one and the for the simple you will go with the debug okay texting and the development just would be the testing framework and if you want to restart the node server without any just control C and node server node app.js file if you want to run the project don't need to that one you will use the node mode for automatically restart so whenever you do any kind of changes to your project I and you don't want to go to terminal and restart it again so you can use the node mode whenever there is a change detection it automatically restart so you will use the node mode right now we have API clients and the request so whenever I use the API call so most important library that is Xeos for the HTTP request popular library and the node fetch fetch api for the node shares okay so you can use any of them environment i think for the environment in the node shares above 18 or 19 node shares you don't need the dot env or the config because it's pre-built okay so don't need to install any kind of environment file environment packages for the getting the values from the environment dot env file right so you can skip this you don't need to install any kind of environment con environment npm packages for the node.js above 18 right it's it's pre-built uh, mini project jwt productive express api so here we have all conclude that one so here you can see so i need to just go because this slide gonna be like so you can make a mini project with jwt protected express api so here you can use the jwt also i will just this one and I will just see because the code is there so let me just control a control C I will paste it in a sublime or I will open a doc over there let me just color it color it okay so here you can see that we can use the config express json web token winston right and now you can just use this one to create that one right winston you can create the logger for the protected route okay so you can just try it out this mini project okay for the jwt you will get to know about all this thing this will implement everything into it right if you want that project to be separated out and i will teach you on that just do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day